and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Final Fantasy 3. Uh, so Final Fantasy 16 didn't go well. <sighs> Violent disgust is not an emotion that I enjoy feeling. Um, and so it kind of took all the uh, all the wind out of my sails at the end there. So I don't know if I'll play more Final Fantasy 16. Uh, I might. I don't know. But I'm not playing anymore today. So today we're starting Final Fantasy 3. Uh, and we're going to see how this goes. Now I did buy the DS remake of this. Um, and a long time ago. And I played like the first little bit, the first like half hour and then I returned it because I realized I needed the money um, and I shouldn't have spent it so uh, I know the basics I know there's a guy called Zande and the cloud of darkness which is when the world gets imbalanced and there's too much light or uh, there's too much darkness uh, warriors of light will arise and the last cycle, Warriors of Darkness arose because there was too much light and the world got thrown out of balance, etc., etc. I know it's four kids who stumble across the crystals. There's a job system that is not as robust as fives, but still relatively robust. An expansion of the ideas that Final Fantasy I came up with. Uh, it's a traditional leveling system. I don't know if there are mix and match abilities that you learn from each of the classes, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Definitely play more, definitely. Things do gradually stop feeling pessimistic. God, I hope so. <sighs> um, so yeah, why don't we get started? Config, old style, classic, GM type arrangement. Oh yeah, you can go with the original. Uh, rest of volume, BGM volume, best effects volume. Cool. Uh, all right, let's start. Uh, we are going to go with the stream crew. More. Diddy. And Teddy. All right, let's start. Into the silence, one of the Golgans prophesied. The great earthquake was only the beginning. The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystals, sources of the world's light, were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerged from the chasms, yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. Something fathomless, ominous, and laden with sorrow looms on the horizon, but hope is not yet gone completely. Four souls will be blessed with the power of light, and so it shall begin. Four orphaned youths raised by Topapa in the rural village of Ur were out to test their mettle. They came across a cave, one of the very same that formed when the crystals were lost to the earth. 
what started as a simple game of exploration became so much more. Undertale time! Ouch! Looks like we fell through a sinkhole. Now what do we do? Are you sure this is a good idea? Maybe we can climb out. You wanted to go exploring. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, quit squabbling, you two. We need to find a way out of here. It really should be color-coded per person talking. Oh, battle tutorial. Gerblins. Oh. What is this metal-ass theme? Oh, all right. So this is the Final Fantasy III battle theme in the remake. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, we just got knives, huh? What were those monsters doing here? We're in way over our heads. Let's get out as fast as possible. Alright. Oh, I can do default speed? No, that's... I want to do default speed walk. What do we have here? A potion. A leather shield. There are 14 chests in Altar Cave. Alright. Huh? What is it? There's something strange about that rock. Now that you mention it. Is it a boss? Boss monster? Or do I find items? Oh, no. it's uh, It opens up the path. Okay. Leather shield. Oh, it's got the fancy magic system. Oh. Huh. Uh, all right, well. Oh, we have two leather shields. All right. Uh, let's give Teddy the tank gear. Antarctic wind this early in the game, huh? Uh, in three, do the spell items break? Uh, 100% of the time? Or is it just a random chance? It's a spring. Yeah, but why is it such an odd color? Let's take a sip. I'm not too sure about this. What party drinks from the wellspring? Wow, I feel revitalized. HP and MP restored. KO'd allies revived. Kick ass. Another Antarctic wind. They're consumable. Are they 100% of the time consumable? Or do they have a random chance of breaking like in, uh, in 2? The Wind Crystal. Uh-oh. What is going on? A malicious force attacks the party. Lance Turtle, alright. We're not going to do any damage to this thing, are we? Oh no, we're doing damage. Okay, it's not an unwinnable boss fight. It is, however, just... Um...
There we go. Lord's job level has increased to two. Wait, are there not level levels? Do you only have job levels? Oh, Mindo didn't get a full HP jump. You got you got both, ah. The crystal shines brightly. You four have been chosen. Whoa, that crystal is talking! I give unto you the last of my light, and with it the last hope of a fading world. As things stand, light will soon disappear, and the balance of the world will be destroyed. Accept the light into your hearts, and the crystals will grant you unimaginable strength. You have been chosen to be the bearers of our final chance at hope. You cannot allow light to fade from the world. The party is enveloped in a bright light. I am a little sad that it doesn't come with an option to have OG graphics uh, in these games. Within the light, the will of the crystals surged through them. They decided to accept their destiny. And so began a journey to dispel the darkness and return light to the world. The young heroes received the crystals' power. Was the Final Fantasy 1 main theme in Final Fantasy 2? Because it's playing here. I don't remember it. And with it, the world's last light of hope. Warrior Monk, White Mage, Black Mage, and Red Mage jobs now available. Step upon the magic sigil to be transported to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of light. Hope of the wind. Received power from the wind crystal. Uh, Alright, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll go Black Mage. Uh, Danny, you'll be Red Mage for now. Uh, Minda will go, uh, Monk. And Teddy will go Warrior. Now we'll rearrange everybody. Hey, Elkia, how's it going? It's funny because Teddy heals and I tank, but you keep swapping us. Well, Teddy, Teddy is um a, a big fan of beefcakes. Missed the end of two. Well, it's on YouTube, so you can watch it there at least. a nice overworld theme. I like this.
Uh, two? Two is... It's worth playing, but it's not a good game. I respect that it tried stuff. Um... This is called Eternal Wind and routinely wins Japanese polls for the best world map theme. Ooh. I can see why. This is really cool. Um... Yeah, like, 2 is not a good game. The system uh, is... It engenders unfun um, gameplay loops that you have to do if you want anything to work. Um, the story is very basic and kind of bland. Um, and... It's, it's just... The... <sighs> It's not the worst Final Fantasy in the main series. That's 13. But it's probably second worst. But it's worth playing just to experience it. Man, they're going hard on this remake of the Overworld theme. Okay, I'm going to switch the audio so I can see what it sounded like originally. This is pretty complex for a, a, a NES music track. Damn, all right. No, I'm mostly blind. Um, I'm mostly blind on Final Fantasy III. I know the basic details of the ending, um, and I've played the first half hour of it on DS like 15 years ago, but all this stuff in between, uh, I'm blind on. All right, let's get the rest of the chests in here. Ah, here they are. Uh, these are, um, these are a big, um, early game enemies. Am I not supposed to be here yet? Oh, okay, they are early game enemies. Cool. They don't look like early game enemies. Bracers. Maybe that's monk gear? Oh, it's red mage gear. It's also black mage gear. Uh, Danny's gonna hit, get hit more than I will. Long sword. Nunchaku! Nice attack buff. Lowered accuracy, though. Long sword. Oh! Huh! Red Mage can't equip swords?
Why is everybody missing? And his job level is increased to two. Oh, hang on. Do you get job levels by using the job or just by getting EXP? Contains sleep. Oh, okay, so it's like the tomes in two. Huh. Uh, okay. No, we're not really going to use sleep. How many spells can uh, one character have? Is it three per Vancian level, like in one? There are two chests to go. I think there's only... Th oh, Danny's job leveled up. I think there's only three per level. So you only need to worry about Red Mage. Ah, okay. Oh, you can? You can convert them back into items? You don't have to... Um, just overwrite them? Huh. Teddy and Laura's jobs uh, level to two. Cool. Well, let's give sleep to Lore. Oh. We've already got four and five level one MP. Interesting. I wonder how high that goes. Uh, okay, do stat-ups, are those associated with the job, or do you get permanent stat-ups based on what job you have? That's changed to match your job with one exception. HP does not change. Okay. HP growth is based on current job when leveling up. Ah. Why, if it isn't you four rascals, where are you running off to? What's that? Saving the world? Aren't you getting a bit old for make-believe? You're never too old for make-believe. If you want to use an item, just select... Okay. Okay. Use a potion on him. By gum, that cured my aching back. Thank you, youngsters. Here, take this with my regards. Theoretically, the optimal play is to swap to monk every time you level up. Oof. Yeah, definitely not going to do that. The elders await you inside. It seems that Don sensed what befell you all. He always did have a strong connection with the spirit world. Well, that's where we're supposed to go, so we're going to go everywhere else first. Oh, my! You're a tenacious bunch to find me in here. Tell you what, I'll give you my secret potion stash. Just check the well. Item finding tutorial. There are eight chests and six items in here. All right. Chests contained potion, potion, and potion. Are you heading out on a journey? Well, you should rest up first. 
And don't worry about payment. Tonight's on us. Oh, it's the bar, too. Hey, you look like you can play the piano. Give us a tune. A big old boulder is blark in the valley, so I can't get back to Canaan. Nothing left but to drink away my worries. Faltering attempts. How'd you like my routine? Oh, I'm a dancer, can't you tell? Want to see me dance? Try the right-hand side of the piano, you get a different reaction? Oh, okay. I wonder if collecting all the pianos... Um, get uh get you more reactions and better reactions the more of them you do a seasoned traveler always keeps a few antidotes and eye drops on hand Okay, can't talk to the bartender. Oh, FF5 lets you do that. Okay. Wait, don't tell me. I bet I can guess your specialties. Hang on. Black mage, red mage, monk, and warrior. How'd I do? Is he just telling your highest level job? King Sassanay's castle lies to the west. He rules the region surrounded by the Parmeni Mountains, including this village. To the south is the town of Kazas, but no one ventures out that far since the Great Earthquake. Word has it that the route is overrun with monsters. Well, it's because nobody goes there. Uh, okay, I'm guessing this is magic. Yes. Poisona. All right. Yeah, you can just put it on and take it off. All right, cool. got for weapons. Wait, only red mage can use staffs? Oh, it's a white mage weapon, that's why. When the great earthquake hit, the crystal altar sank deep underground. Oh, this world is destined for ruin. You should never leave home without a spell of cure. I saw one in the shed deeper in the thicket. Careful, though. There are monsters along the path. Oh, hello. Let's go talk to her before we go after cure. I'm picking flowers. Good for you. Gerblins! Yeah, apparently arrows are consumable in this one. Minus job level is increased to three. Nice. See that candle furthest to the right? It's actually the switch for a hidden door. A couple 
antidotes. Bunch of chests, nice. Leather armor. Nice. Dagger. Cure. Leather armor. And long sword. Oh, we can all wear it. Okay. Well, let's give it to Minda. found all the chests, but I've only found two out of the six discoverable items. Oh, you can burn yourself by grabbing the candle. Cute. Oh, they're just in the environment. Like in Pokemon. Alright. Danny's job level increased to three. In Final Fantasy V, job level maxed out at five, but apparently that's not the case in this. Twelve hundred gil. Let's buy some armor. I've had some that were lower and higher than five. It all depended on how many skills they had to learn. Ah, okay. Oh, the rest of them are probably in here. Yes, the spirits have told me exactly what befell you. Now go, speak with Elder Topapa. I believe he has some words of wisdom for you. Cool. It's Nina, a motherly figure to the four orphans. Take care on your journey. You know how I worry so. It's Hobak, one of the town elders. In order to understand the power you've been granted by the crystal, you need to be true to your heart. It's Topapa, the elder who raised the four orphans, who has a cylinder head. That's a little horrifying, actually. Topapa, we... I know, I know. To think that you four would be chosen by the light. Lor, Danny, Minda, and Teddy. You must understand that such a meeting was no mere chance. The crystal willed you to it. Such is its power. Your souls have been touched by light. You cannot let the strength you've been granted go to waste. You must depart at once and seal away the powers of darkness. All right, well, let's go on a journey then. Pretty detailed map compared to one and two. Kazas. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I I thought you might be ghosts too. While traveling from the west, I came upon this accursed town. 
I'd stay away from the inn if I were you. It's full of ghosts. Uh, all right, well, first, we're going to save. Oh, a ghost shopkeep? The Jin's curse turned all the villages into this. All right. All right, let's see who's in the end that we can beat up. A two-dimensional being. Only a mithril ring made here in Kazis can contain the Jinn's power. That is why the Jinn cursed this town. The Jinn had been trapped in the sealed cavern since the Great Earthquake, but now he's awakened. The townsfolk made a mithril ring for Princess Sarah of Castle Sassone once. If only we could borrow it. All I want is to have my beautiful complexion back. Since the name. Oh, this early, huh? I'm from Canaan, but a boulder in Nell Valley is blocking my way home. Now I'm stuck here. Figured I'd spend the night at the inn, and then this happened. What's my wife gonna say? Say, want to take my airship for a spin? It's parked under the desert to the west of town. In return, think you can do something about this here predicament? Learn where to find Sid's airship? It's in the desert to the west. Alright, let's see... Nothing, okay. Uh, there are no chests, but there are five items. Wait, hang on. Nope. Alright, let's look around the rest of the town. Potion, okay. Mithril Mines. I think I'm not supposed to be here yet. Alright, we'll, we'll go to Sid's airship in a minute. Berserkers? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. These are level appropriate. Cool. Teddy Midnight Lore's job levels. There's the castle. So, Sassane, 13 chests. Uh, it's misty here. I think these guys are cursed too. Maybe? No? The djinn's curse turned everyone in the castle into ghosts. I was only spared because I was out on a mission at the time. If we had a mithril ring, we would be able to seal away the djinn again. Kazas is the only place where they can craft such a ring. But with the curse, how could we hope to find a mithril ring now? What about the princesses? All right, let's loot the place. Antidote, okay. Eye drops, very useful. Phoenix down. Ooh, wooden arrow, a single wooden arrow and a bow. Take a nap in the princess's bed. <laughs> oh, 
All four of us. Okay, are arrows consumable? Uh, or do you just equip that type of arrow? Holy arrow. Zambos, all right. They're consumable. Oh, that sucks. Oh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't be here. Stop! Don't hit Minda again. Okay, that's fine. Well, that was painful. Danny got all stats. Nice. And Lore got everything but spirit. Cool. A high potion? Uh, how many potions have I got? I've got eight. Now I have five. Oh, wait. I have the cure spell. Why did I spend my potions? Monster. Oh, no. Ow! Oh, well, bye, Danny. White Slayer. White Slayer is Red Mage specific. So there are swords Red Mage can use, but they're specific to Red Mage. Interesting. All right, well, Danny can't make much use of it at the moment. Oh, Danny's out cold, so we can't cast Cure. Uh, all right, we'll use another potion. Uh, let's go. We need to go revive our ca characters. In the Pixel Remaster version, arrows have infinite uses and no longer have to be restocked periodically. Wait, does taking a nap revive your KO'd characters? Now the center door. Five chests to go. The Jin's curse did this to me. To all of us. Oh, what shall I do? White Slayers in the western tower of Castle Sassane. It's a holy sword, bane of the undead. However, only a red mage can wield it. Undead hordes roam the tunnels of the sealed cavern. But if you cast cure on them, it may do some serious damage. 
I am King Sasane, but as you can see, the Jin's curse has reduced me to this ghostly form. I guess it would be Sasane, not Sasane, because it's Japanese. Only by defeating the Jin can this foul curse be lifted. Where is the Jin? He dwells in the sealed cavern north of this castle, but without a Mithril ring, you will be powerless to seal him away. We heard that Her Highness, Princess Sarah, has one. Oh, how could I have forgotten? The people of Casas once presented Sarah with a Mithril ring, but I fear Sarah is nowhere to be found. Could she have been abducted by the Jinn? Oh, my poor, poor Sarah. We can check out the sealed cavern. Oh, such stalwart warriors! When you reach the sealed cavern, you should know there is a secret door. The skeleton is the key. Please, you must defeat the Jinn and free my people from this wicked curse. You got it. All right, where are these other staircases? Aha, okay. Thousand gil, a thousand gil, nice. Oh, a wellspring room that I don't need at the moment. Leather shield. Blizzard! Ooh! we got for shields? Leather shield. Okay. Leather shield. One more chest. Tonfa! Ooh, that's for Monk, I think. Yeah! Oh, that's a nice power jump. Sealed cave. That's water. Oh, we, that's probably what we need the airship for. Teddy and Danny's jobs leveled. Are we going to trust these kids to fly an airship? Thanks, Sid. And we crash. Oh, the airship can't fly over the mountains. Ah, okay. Sealed cave, B1. Uh, Alright, there are five chests in the sealed cave. Two of them are on this floor. A potion, alright. Mummies, ambushed, uh-oh. It is job level at six. Okay. Agility, intellect, spirit, mid spirit, Danny, agility, intellect, spirit, and lore, strength, and spirit. Those are useless stats for a black mage. Uh, okay, maybe we shouldn't be in here yet. Uh... Let's get this chest and then skedaddle. Maybe we're supposed to go to the Mithril Cave first. Uh, 
another cure. All right. I guess when we have somebody level white mage, we'll go for that. I think maybe we need to do a little grinding before we uh, can go through here. Teddy with exact damage. Danny, one point in everything. Oh, that Phoenix down is precious. Let's check out the Mithril Cave. Phoenix Sounds cannot be purchased in this game, only found and stolen. Ooh. That's trouble. Skeletons are just mummies without the cloth armor. Uh, mummies still have flesh. They're dried out, but they are fleshy. Let's see if we can buy some potions here in town. Is there an item shop? There does not appear to be an item shop. Shit, I've used up potions. Uh-oh. Alright, let's see how tough the stuff in here is. Oh, it's Skeleton. Alright. Oh, Lord got blinded, of course. One point to level, Danny. Alright. Strength, agility, and stamina for Teddy. Strength, agility, and spirit for Minda. Everything for lore. Cool. I guess I can't do stuff in here yet. Shadows. Tougher skeletons? Uh-oh. Everybody's jobs leveled up and Danny regular leveled up. One point in everything. I can't use the in here. Can I? I can. Okay. Uh, and our status effects went away. Cool. Uh, let's grind up to level 8 real quick.
Oh, I got a potion from that. Nice. I do like that they uh, turned down the encounter rate. Uh, compared to two, which had an encounter every, like, five steps, which was super annoying. Teddy everything, cool, and 100 HP, awesome. Eight for everybody but Teddy. We'll get Teddy to eight and then we'll go. Danny got no stat ups. Come on, Danny. And Lore got a spirit stat up. Oh, come on. Poison, great. I missed with Blizzard? Blizzard spells have a miss chance in three? Or like offensive spells have a miss chance? affects magic in this. Oh, that sucks. Job trainee. Level up one job to level 10. Is that the max level for a job? Ninety nine is the max level for a job. Oh, all right. Teddy's level 8. Teddy, intellect, and spirit. Alright, let's go heal. Now we'll try to tackle uh, the sealed cave. I've already got 11 MP. Damn. All right. Cool. Excuse me. 
All right, down the winding passageway. Mid to job 11, cool. So what do the job levels do? Like, do Black Mage job levels give them more spell slots? Or um, does it increase the potency of their spells, or what? Everything but spirit for Minda, everything but spirit for Lore. Cool. Skeleton is the key. Alright. 500 gil. Is it this skeleton? No. Is it the skeleton? Cursed copper? Number of hits when attacking, chance of executing a crit, physical damage, black magic damage, white magic recovery. Summon damage, attack power of barehanded monks and black belts. It also enhances the special abilities of certain jobs. Ah, cool. All right. Teddy's blinded. Lovely. Job levels. Danny leveled. Everything's a 10. Four antidotes. We'll use Poisona. And Cure. And an Eye Drops. Oh, we only have one Eye Drop. We'll save that for when we get to the boss. Oh. Sarah? I am Sarah. Princess of Sarsley. Your Highness, what are you doing here? I'm here to save my subjects, but I fear I cannot find a clear path through the monsters. You are not Sarah. Sarah's, uh... This is a trap. Thankfully, my mithril ring spared me from the djinn's curse. Huh, maybe it's not a trap. Nevertheless, these caves are dangerous, Your Highness. You should return to the castle. Leave the ring with us, though. I will not. I'll forge ahead alone if I have to. I like her. Your Highness, won't you reconsider? Please, take me with you. You cannot seal away the djinn without my mithril ring. Then I suppose we must. Sarah, join the party. Oh, that's right. If you wish to talk to me, press the L2 button. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. Now let's be off. I am Sarah, and you are? I'm Lore. A pleasure. I can only go so far alone before I reach my limit. It is most fortunate that you came along. I am in your debt. Also, I was trapped on this side of the false wall because it closed up behind me when I went through. The djinn can control fire. Perhaps attacking with ice would help douse his flames. Right, two more chests.
Alright, Poisona running out of MP. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have used an antidote instead. Antarctic Wind. Rookie Treasure Hunter. 10% of the chests already? I've only found stuff from, like, 15 chests. I guess they made up for that with findable items. Teddy leveled. Strength, agility, and stamina. Apprentice warrior. Defeated a hundred monsters. Cool. Three of thirty-one. Ah, another eye drops. Cool. Revenants. Laura got two of those kills. Nice. Uh, right items, eye drops. Anyone need a potion? Minda needs a potion. Okay. It's the djinn! Stand back. I will use my ring to banish the djinn. Nothing happened. <laughs> you think that silly trinket will stop me now? I've joined forces with the darkness, and together we're unstoppable. The djinn attacked. That is an ugly sprite. Attack, attack, attack. Blizzard! Ow! Okay, yeah, attack the Black Mage who's in the back row. That's a good amount of damage for you to deal. Got him. Job to level 11. Cool. Now, Sarah, while well, the Jin is weakened, use your ring. Sarah raised the ring up high. In the 3D remake, the guest NPCs occasionally help in combat. That's cool. The djinn dispersed like mist. The ring's power sealed him deep within the cavern once again. Thank you so much. I would never have been able to seal away the djinn without your help. All that remains is to cast this ring into the wellspring in Castle Sosne, and the djinn's curse will be lifted. For now, I'll use the ring's power to warp us back to the castle. Oh, that's very convenient, actually. Thank you. Princess Sarah threw the ring in the wellspring. Corrupting the wellspring! There! Now the djinn's curse should be broken. We wouldn't be here without you all. Thank you. I suppose we must part ways. I have a duty to my father and my people, after all. Would that I could travel with you, but I'd only be in your way. This is a warrior princess. I like her. Sarah, come back when you finish your journey. I'll be waiting for you for as long as it takes. We swear to return. Sarah left the party. Thank you, brave warriors. You have sealed away the djinn and saved my precious Sarah. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Take this. I trust it will aid you on your quest. A canoe! Excellent!
Canoes play a major part in Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3, and then never show up in the entire rest of the series. Thank you, Warriors of Light. You may rest here as long as you wish. Sarah would appreciate spending more time with you. Well, the last time we rested, it was in her bedroom. Let's see what happens. I have to stay here with my father. Would that I could travel with you, but I'd only be in your way. Your Highness, I'll be waiting for you. Take a nap in the princess's bed. Back to Kazas. Hey, what about Sid's airship? Oh, we can we can just canoe over there now, right? Well done. I knew you could pull it off. That is a much less attractive Sid than the one in two. Bet you're glad you had my airship, huh? I'm just happy it was used for a good cause. Mind if I ask another favor? Can you get me back to the missus in Canaan? Please, she's been waiting a mighty long time. Sid is a gnome, apparently, yes. Since the name, maybe you've heard of me. I'm an expert airship craftsman, I'll have you know. The missus is waiting for me in Canaan. I gotta get back. Hmm, maybe if we affix a mithril prow to my airship, we can bust through the boulder. Talk of the blacksmith in Kazus might be able to help. Noted. Okay, let's talk to some people. Thanks to you, I'm back to normal again. I feel fit as a fiddle. Now well, let's get some spells. We have 6,800. Uh, let's get fire for... Uh, and blizzard. We don't need sleep. Fire is a level one spell. Okay. Oh, mithril knife. Okay. Mithril rod. Oh, mithril rod intellect plus one. And mithril sword. Uh, mithril knife for uh, Danny. Oh, the Mithril Knife is worse than the White Slayer. I was just saying it up because of the leather, leather shield. Can and should dual wield. As opposed to using shields? Okay. Unlike two, it's actually great. Oh, okay. Can you can dual wield as a monk? All right. Uh, 
Let's play uh, another me from Rod for lore. Mithril shields, okay. Oh, we aren't using shields. Mithril helms, buy two of those. Mithril armor, buy two of those. Mithril bracers, buy uh, one of those. Mithril gloves, buy two of those. Awesome. Stats for days. Casus made its fortune out of its off of its mind. Artisans from town made weapons and armor out of the Mithra here. The only way through the Parmay mountain range is Nell Valley. And it's been blocked by a huge rock since the earthquake. What do do for Potions! Item shop! Oh, discount if I buy in bulk. I was wondering. There's a hidden passage in the mine that'll take you to the deepest tunnels. To find it, go as far as you can. Take three steps from the left-hand side and look closely at the wall. Thank you, I'm myself again. Oh, my healthy glow is back and it's all thanks to you. Huh? Cannot talk to the bartender. Taka's the finest blacksmith around. He lives by himself in this very house. All right, Taka. Hana 101. Been thinking about that boulder that's blocking the way to Canaan. I reckon if my airship had a mithril prow, we could bust through. Say no more. I'll get one ready for you in a jiffy. Did you walk outside to do that? All done. No need to thank me. You saved the town, after all. This is to show our appreciation. Now take care out there. Taka affixed a mithril prow to the airship. Let's give that bothersome boulder a good old-fashioned whooping. So, we don't go into the mines. Here's the interest to the beef for mine. I know. Out of my way. Thank you. Not separate hits, huh? Just adds together to one. Let's see what's down here. Two chests. Alright. Oh. This is actually a pretty small world. Huh. Okay. Uh, oh, there's land all around the edge. Are we in the sky? Oh, 
Oh, back attacked. Lovely. Ha! One damage. Mid to job, 14. Oh, a high potion from that. Nice. Mithril sword. Okay. Cool. Another Mithril sword. I didn't need to buy the Mithril sword. Damage job level 12. Mid to everything but stamina, lore, intellect, and spirit. Does spirit serve a function as magic defense in this game, or is it just your healing stat? Entries in the Beast Jury. 225! Oh, that's a big step up from 1 and 2. Nice variety. Is this going to crash the airship? Yep. So much for the airship. Couldn't have that. Crushing force. Smashed the boulder and cleared the path. Whew! We might have overdone it. Y'all have nerves of steel. What the fuck is that? Teddy lower job leveled up. Danny regular leveled up. No stats from Danny. It's the evil of all root. Cute. Okay, can't go up that way. Is this Kanan? Thanks for all your help. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Come to think of it, if I could put together another airship, I bet you could put it through its paces. But we'll need to make a few design improvements. And no one knows more about that stuff than King Argus. You should go see him. Anyway, thanks again. Come back to visit any time. Sid left the party. I hear that long ago a traveling mage hid some medicinal herbs in town. As for the wares and wherefores, who knows? That is the correct use of wherefore. I've never been myself, but they say there's a gnome village in the forest down south. That's where Sid's from. Uh, there are twelve chests and three hidden items here. Anything in the well? Or fountain? No. Okay. Forty gil a night. No thanks. I have eleven hundred gil. This is the item shop. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, echo orbs are a hundred each. Oh, we'll take some for petrification. First, that scoundrel Dash turns my Selena's head. Then he ups and leaves town. Said he had something to find in a hurry. My Selena was already such a sweet was always such a sweet girl. Now the poor thing cries herself to sleep at night. Oh. Mallet for amnesia, I guess. Not silence in this game, huh? 
All right. All right, I see the door panel in the wall. Aha, uh -huh, I see it. Oh, a gold needle, excellent. That saves 100 gil. Oh, Dash, I'm so lonely here without you. You traveled south to Dragon's Peak where the dragons roost. I miss you so. Well, there's a plot hook. Looking for someone's abandoned pot stash. Fun. If you use the mini spell, you can turn into a gnome-sized version of yourself. I sold my last one to a young man named Desh. Oh, minish cap then, huh? A traveler named Desh wandered into town recently, but he didn't stick around. I'm not sure where he was headed. said. I'm glad you stopped by. You see, my wife fell ill while I was away. Come on, honey. You'll pull through. Oh, if only I had an elixir. Well, they're 50,000 gills, so not easy to come by. Oh, I, I can use an item on her. All right. Arrow is a white magic spell that lets you manipulate the winds to damage your enemy. Flying monsters hate it. Noted. I wonder if there's an achievement for seeing all the dancers in the game dance. Was I here? Yes, I was. Okay. Alright, what's in the weapon shop? Uh, attack 12. Uh, attack 8. Okay, let's... Oh, the Holy Arrow probably does extra damage to, um, undead enemies. All right, what spells? Cure, Thunder, uh, Thunder is level two. Uh, poison and Blind. Uh, okay, we need Gil. Let's get two Thunders. Uh, we need 2,800 Gil for Thunders and Poisons. How much Gil do I get from random battles? That is a really doofy basilisk. That is a really doofy basilisk. I can see why I needed gold needles this early in the game. Eighty-eight gil. Okay, we'll be here a while. Bug bears, huh? To job level 15. Cool. Oh! Here's the Dragon's Peak. Alright. Teddy, Strength, Intellect, and Spirit. Cool. 
So the deal is that Onion Knight becomes stronger based on um based on the other jobs levels, right? Like there's something special about Onion Knight that um that uh, improves based on other jobs. No? What's the point of Onion Knight then? It's got a subpar curve that shoots through the roof in the 90s. Useless until character level 90 plus. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, Lore's already got a level 3 spell. I've got enough for one spell. We'll get the Thunders. We'll, we'll get the two Thunders and move on. Worst design version of the job system until the DS remake made it worse? How'd the DS remake made it worse? Yeah, you know, I'm not going to complain over much about the job system in this game, I think, because it's the first iteration of it. It was an experimental system and they took the lessons learned from it and applied them to five uh what other games have used a job system similar to three and five i guess 12 zodiac age The DS remake gives you stat reduction for 3 to 10 battles after a job swap? Famicom and Pixel Remaster, you build up a currency used to swap jobs. So wait, I can't just swap jobs? I, I can swap jobs. What, what do you mean a currency used to swap jobs? You said it was in Pixel Remaster, right? They removed the currency in Pixel Remaster. Ah, okay. Chomp sickness is what I get after working at Target for 11 years. Fair enough. You maintain your learned spells when you swap jobs, right? You just are restricted in what you can cast? In the Famicom version, you earn job points after battles and you pay them to swap jobs. The more different the job, the more the cost. So White Mage to Red Mage might be 6 points, and White Mage to Warrior might be 15. Huh. That does sound like a bad system. Alright, 150 gil to go. Three more fights.
mid to lower job levels. Alright, four gil to go. Come on. Danny's out of MP. Teddy and Danny's job level. Mid to stamina spirit. Danny a point of everything. Lore everything but intellect. Everything except my main stat. Come on. Oh, I need uh, I need enough gil to heal. Scenario Design wants you to switch jobs regularly, but the actual system goes out of its way to make that painful. Yeah, that sounds like a bad decision. Forty gil per night. buy a cure for Teddy because we're going to level up his white mage job in a bit. Oh yeah, Ted 2 has jobs. You're right. Oh, I already had a cure? Yeah, I only played the very start of 10 2. Oh, hi, Bahamut. Hello. Dragon's Peak. Three chests. Uh, I see one chest. I see two chests. I see three chests. Okay. So it's just this one room and then the peak. Oh, hell divers. Already doing seven hits, the monk. Bird. Do mages get more job points for casting spells, or is it the same between attacking and casting spells? Uh, Teddy, everything but strength. What is with these stat ups? Field research basic. 10% of the bestiary entries. Okay, there are 225. That's more reasonable. A gold needle. Excellent. Taking a turn is all equal. Oh, cool. Mid to job level. Cool. Oh, arrow. Just in time for fighting a dragon, I guess. And a gold needle. Is this dragon going to turn us to stone? Oh, uh-oh. Oh, in its nest. Dragon's airy.
What's that? Oh, hello. Whoa, how the heck did you guys get up here? Wait, don't tell me. You got captured by the dragon too, didn't you? Ha, <laughs> losers. Oh, self-burn? That's rich coming from the dragon's next meal. Touché. I guess you're right. <laughs> My name's Desh. I'm Lore. Gotta be upfront with you all. I've got amnesia. Can't remember a thing except my own name. Oh, sure. I know that I came up here for a reason. I just don't remember what it is. Uh-oh. The dragon's back. Hide! A dragon attacks from the sky! We don't stand a chance against it! We gotta run! Run! Run for your lives! Is this a tutorial on how to run? It is Bahamut! Uh-oh. Oh! Whew, that was close. Come on, let's get out of here. Agreed. No, I want to find the item. Here, you can have this. It's a spell called Mini. I don't think I've got the magic know-how to use it anyway. In exchange, mind if I tag along in your journey? Sure, if that's what you want to do. Good, then it's settled. Glad to know you all. So, is Mini something you use on yourself in this game? Does it increase evasion or what? Let's get going. We can jump down. Geronimo! Oh, we land out here. Uh, I'm gonna load because I want to find the item in the Dragon's Airy. Yes and no, you'll see in a second. I probably need to use it to get into the village of gnomes, don't I? Firefly? Didn't see these before. Weak to ice, of course. This game scratches an itch of lots of things to level up that I level up by using. I'm excited to grind this game. Teddy, everything but strength. Right. And we'll teach Cure to Teddy. No more spells can be learned. Oh, he's already got Cure. Okay. You cheat the game to be strong enough to beat the Hobbit, you can never get him as a summon because he won't show up when he's supposed to. That's funny. So there's a Bahamut dead flag somewhere in the game's code. Um, and you trip it by beating him here. Uh, and if you do, uh, it'll check to see if he's dead or not and not spawn him later, is what I'm gathering. Mid to Danny and Lore's job leveled. All right, where is this item? Talk to the babies. Maybe one of them has the item.
Wait, is the item the mini you get from Desh? I guess maybe it is. Like, there's a hidden item here, but maybe it's the item you get from Desh. I guess we'll find out. I'll find out after uh, I get booted to the world map. Hey, we got away without anybody dying this time. It is not something that I can see on the map. Okay, well, let's save. Oh, we got healed by that. All right. Let's save and let's teach Danny Mini. He's only got two casts of level 2 spells, but he's our best white magic caster. I'm a gnome from Toza's Forest to the south, here to draw water from this magic wellspring. You're welcome to pay us a visit, but you'll need to cast many on yourselves first. We can't have big folks smashing the place up. Fair enough. Uh, alright. Well... Let's see if it restores our status ailments. It did not restore our status ailments. Ex excellent. So that's what this is for. Oh, we should restore... Oh, and that shrinks dash too. Fun. Not a familiar face among the lot of you. There's a tunnel that runs through the Muranos Range. You can use it to get to Moralka Basin, home of the Vikings. There are two chests and four hidden items here. Cura, Fire Staff, Vest, and Mithril Bracers. Cura's a level three white magic spell. Ooh, maybe we save that for Teddy as a white mage. Uh, we've got... Uh, we've got a fire staff for me, though. Oh, nope. Fire staff is not for me. It's for Danny. Intellect and spirit up. Cool. Alright, now it's just chess. Oh, I need an antidote. That hit the spot. Something I ate really didn't agree with me. You saved my life. In return, I'll tell you about a shortcut to Morocco Basin. Just take the stairs over here. They lead straight to the secret tunnel. Where's Shalko's shortcut? Uh, we'll come back in here because I want to find the chess. Oh, an inn and an item shop. Okay. Potion, antidote, and eye drops. All right. I have 400 gil. Don't know what I expected. We're all gnomes here. Can't find a friendlier bunch. No siree. Magic shop. 
Okay, well, arrow, but nothing else that I need. You smell funny. Oh, great. The living woods are somewhere out there in the world. I hear the fairies that live there are the cutest things. Another item shop? Gnomish Bread displays a detailed map? Okay, well, just to see what it is, I'll buy one. Gnomish Bread has magical properties. It's got the same effect as the Sight spell. One bite of Gnomish Bread, the whole world will be spread out below you, man. Far out. Wait, but I have a world map already, and a mini-map. What's the point of the Gnomish Bread? Also, the chests are probably in Shalko's Passage. Yep. Mithril Bracers, Mithril Rod. Oh, that ups my magic defense and evasion and gives intellect. So we'll give that to Danny. How is this tunnel? Is there anything that's going to unshrink us down here? Uh-oh. Leprechauns. Oh. Those are freaky leprechauns. Ow! Stop that! Uh, alright. Well, uh, let's fire them. And blizzard them. Yep, I figured that's all the damage you do is a mini. We'll still attack, because that's actions. The wiki doesn't specify for the Pixel Remaster, but I assume it does the same thing as the 3D remake, since they also already had full access to the full world map. Mini battle music is new. Oh. Demon face! Don't like that. Ha! Missed. I could just be using the uh, repeat attack. Why am I doing this manually? Uh, all right. Well, we're still mini. We're mini in the save screen, of course. Uh, okay. So, how do we cure this? I guess we go in here. Viking's Cove. Ch six chests in here. Alright. Oh! There's an inn! Oh, is there... an item that cures mini, I wonder? We're Vikings, pillagers of the open sea, or, well, we used to be. A wily old sea dragon showed up after the earthquake and wrecked all our ships. All but one, the Enterprise was spared, but we can't set sail with that monster still out there. Just rest in my eyes. You mean your one eye?
300 gil. Cool. This grog is the only thing holding me together. A Viking and a Viking unless he's sailing the ocean waves. No, you do plenty of land pillaging too. That building on the Cape is Nepto Temple. Pops ought to know more about it. Ask him. The boss ain't got a clue how to handle the sea dragon. How's a Viking supposed to fight a monster like that? Can you cure my mini stat? Red Mage! What can I do for you? Oh, wait! Casting mini on somebody unminis them, doesn't it? Mini can be party cast outside of battle. Ooh, okay. Hey, there we go. Maiden's Kiss. Uh, we'll buy a couple Maiden's Kisses just to be safe. I was about to say I should have brought Dash back to Sid's village to talk to his girlfriend, but you couldn't. Uh, okay, I see the way. I see the way. Oh, that's the stairs. I wasn't hiding. No, I was just waiting for Pops. That's all. Blizzara, we're getting the aura spells early. Fire of Thundara, okay, all right. Black Mage level three. Fire of Thundara, Blizzara. I guess that cannon will be used on the dragon later. I wouldn't get on a boat right now if I were you. Everyone who sails along the coast gets attacked by the sea dragon. It must be the legendary Nepto dragon from the temple. There's no other explanation. I've tried everything, but I just can't win against that sea dragon. If you get rid of that monster, I'll give you anything. I'd even give you the Enterprise. We got a deal? Definitely. Looking for the boss? That's him over there. He's become a total layabout. I ain't boarding the Enterprise. Even if it is seaworthy, that sea dragon will just come after us. Oh, that takes me out. Let's go down these stairs, then. For the last two chests? Yes. 300 gil, 300 gil. Cool. Thrifty spender. 10,000 gil already. Sure as you're born, I'm the oldest Viking here. I know more than most about the Nepto Dragon. That vicious beast is meant to sleep in its temple for eternity. Ooh, maybe we can cast sleep on it. But ever since the Great Earthquake, something's roused the dragon from its slumber. Now it ravages any ship that sails the seas. No I had hidden items. Oh, a wellspring. Oh, no, that just revives KO'd allies. Uh, can we fire the cannon? Yes, we can. Are we going to get yelled at for that? No, we're not. All right, cool. Won't get in the Enterprise yet. We'll go to this temple. Or bugbears. Minda and Lore's jobs leveled. Cool. Nepto Temple. It's a statue of the Nepto Dragon, but one of its eyes is missing. 
There seems to be a tiny passageway where the eye used to be. Maybe we can fit in if we use the mini spell. All right. Okay, everyone is miniaturized. Let's go. The party enters through the dragon's eye socket. All right, this is pretty neat that mini's a mechanic you use to navigate the world. Lilliputian, cute. Two EXP off of leveling, come on. Serpent Sword. Extra power, slightly less accuracy. Well, this was the way we were supposed to go, all right. Hell is that? Bloodworm and petite. job leveled, everybody else level leveled. Minda, everything but spirit. Danny, strength and stamina. Lore, everything but strength and spirit. Cool. Wait, this is the way we're supposed to go. Let's... kind of a tax on, isn't it? But this is the way we're supposed to go, so we're going to go over this way. Aha! There's the chest. Shell Helm? Extra defense and magic defense. Only warrior can wear it. Okay. Shell Helm it is. Shell Armor. Shell armor up. Cool. Tougher than Mithril, apparently. Where rat? Well, we need to kill this thing. It's curing. All right. Well, these things deal a lot of damage. Well, let's cure the party and see how much health it heals. Eh, a little. Holy shit! All right, bye, Teddy. Uh, do I want to spend a Phoenix down?
The question is, can I unmini while I'm down here? Probably not. Ah, oh, I don't want to leave Teddy unconscious. We're going to revive Teddy and come back. KO'd people. There was one. I remember that much. No. Alright. Balls, do I have to use... Do I have to use a phoenix down to get Teddy back on his feet? Uh, Danny, do you remember where... Because sleeping in the inn won't do it. I did miss the spring. Oh, it is down here, right. Is revived. All right, now let's rest in the inn. Nope, not this way. This way. You can try and take the ship now, just save first. No, I want to find what's in the back of that dungeon. Or in the back of that temple. You will finish the dungeon, just try the ship. Let's see how badly this thing kills us. Yep. 60 whole points of damage. Out of level 2 spells. Yeah, that is a pretty dumb dragon face.
Oh wait, I can just auto flee. What am I doing? Oh, hello. You're a rat. You're a boss, I assume. A giant rat! No, no gem for you. I'll nibble anyone who tries to take it. That sure is the sprite of a boss. Uh, let's fire it. Let's fire... Let's Blizzara it. Nice miss. Oh, I'm out of spells. Whoops. Out of level three spells. Whoops. Well, that was a wasted turn. Uh, it uses thunder, so probably uh, absorbs thunder. Or is good against it. Aura? Oh. Blizzard is very good against it. Nice miss. Oh my god, go down already. Well, no, it's good that the boss is tough. The Final Fantasy II bosses were stupid easy. Oh, I should have a Teddy Mid to heal. Oh, nope, got it. Oh yeah, I could have made them all mages. Right, job, job changes, right. Teddy leveled, everybody's jobs leveled, excellent. Teddy, strength and stamina. Is stamina defense, or is it something to do with your HP leveling, like in two? Obtained the Nepto Eye. If you fight well miniaturized, you gotta use magic or you'll find it tough going. Black mages know a ton of strong spells. Now to return the Nepto Dragon's Eye to its rightful place. The party put the missing eye in the empty socket. It is I, Nepto the Sea Dragon. I thank you for returning my eye. It is no ordinary gem. It is the vessel for my soul. Without it, my physical manifestation cannot be controlled. By way of thanks, I bequeath to you the Fang of Water. Use its power to destroy those obstacles that may block your path. Save the Fang of Water from the Nepto Dragon. Cool. Water has lost that which once shimmered within. That which caused the great earthquake also trapped the light of the elements deep within the earth. I beseech you, please restore our light. The Nepto Dragon resumed its slumber. Well, cool. All right, well, let, let's go heal.
You got guts, I'll tell you that. Thanks. Color me impressed. So brave, so strong. You lot are bona fide heroes. A Viking's word is his bone. The Enterprise is yours. Isn't that your last ship? Why aren't you giving that to me? I mean, I'm gonna take it, but... Help your companion fulfill his destiny. Cute. Uh, all right. Let's save. And I think that's where we're going to end for today. I already like this better than two. I already like this a lot better than two. I'm itching to grind in this game. I like this a lot more than two. Um, so yeah. Uh, we will definitely be playing more of this. I don't know when. I... <sighs> Tomorrow I may play Final Fantasy 16. I may not. It'll be either 16 or this. 16, Violent Disgust is not an ex an exceptionally pleasant experience for me, and um, we'll see if I want to keep playing 16. I'll try some more, but I don't know. I don't know how far I'll get. Everyone wants me to play 16, though. Um, well... If we don't play 16, or if we only go for a couple of hours, we'll play some more of this tomorrow. Um, we have 16 blocked out until Wednesday. Uh, let me pull up my schedule. Uh, we have 16 blocked out until Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is going to be the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky for a patron. Friday will be Scarlet Hollow at 2 p.m. EST for a patron, not 1 p.m. Saturday will, of course, be our weekly Final Fantasy XIV stream. Uh, Sunday I have a free day, so it'll be one of my floating games. 16, 3, you know, one of the others. Uh, and Monday will be uh, a bird story at 1 p.m. EST for a patron. Um, so yeah, that's what's coming up for the next week. Uh, before I go, I would like to plug my Patreon, which you can find either in the description of the YouTube video or with the exclamation point Patreon command in Twitch chat. I make my living off of Patreon. It's my sole income. And I make, you know, $800 to $1,000 a month. Closer to $800 from now on because I lost a big patron. Um, but that's just enough to pay my rent and my bills and have a little bit of spending money. I would like to start putting together a savings account for medical emergencies or if I need to replace stuff. You know, whenever emergencies come up. So if you could go to my Patreon and pledge a dollar a month or a dollar per stream or anything in between... Pledge a bunch per stream if you really want to change my life. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm grateful to everybody who pledges. You guys make it so I can do this strange, silly job for a living. I love my job, and I'm grateful to everyone who makes it so I can do this. There is also a slot open on my Patreon right now where you can pick a game for me to play once a month. So snag that before it goes away. Uh, there's only one out of the nine left at the moment. Um, but yeah. That's my schedule. That's my spiel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.